Hey everyone, I'm Captain V, and this is how to fix a broken nose, army style. Now, a bit of a disclaimer to start. This is not the real way to fix a broken nose. Well, maybe it is, but I am no doctor. This is simply the way that it was done for me, okay? So do not try this yourself. All right, moving on. Back in the army, when I was about just about to fully finish my training to become a fully qualified officer. I um, was in my final training course and right before, no, it was, it was during some weekend, um, I got uh, a broken nose. I was playing ultimate Frisbee with some of the other soldiers um, on some weekend that we had off. And a guy in front of me jumped up and he hit his head back like this and it hit me straight in the nose and it was instantly crooked. So my nose was now kind of facing diagonally off to the side. So I knew it felt weird. It still, it stayed feeling weird. It's kind of like off like that. And everyone instantly knew. They were like, ooh, I think you broke your nose, man. And I was like, Ugh, no. And I was so worried because in those training courses, you can't, at least during that time, you couldn't miss more than one full day, like 24 hours of training or else you'd have to do the whole course again. And these courses were awful, okay? And they were about four months long. So we were about two or three months into it. You better believe I did not want to do two and a half months all over again, because it was not very fun, okay? I had succeeded, and I didn't want to do it all over again because of some broken nose. So I went into the doctor's office there, Okay, called the MIR there. And into the clinic I go, doctor saw me and the doctor says, well, Captain V, and I was a second lieutenant at the time, second lieutenant V, you got two options here. You can, I can send you to the hospital and you will get, it'll be about, you know, we'll do a professional job and it'll be, you will end up getting off that yeah, it'll take about a week to heal and things like that. And I'm like, a week? So I'll be off the course? And he's like, yeah, but your nose will look great. And then I'm like, okay, well, I don't really like that option. What's option B? And he says, well, option B is uh, you lie back and uh, I'll use these two fingers right here, right now. And I'm like, yeah, and you will just crack it back into place. And he was like, yeah. And I'm like, you can do that? He's like, I've done it before. I'm like, okay, how confident are you? He's like, 50-50. <laughs> I'm like, that's not very good odds. He's like, I know. I'm just, I'm being honest. I'm like, oh, so what option should I have gone with? What do you think? Option A, hospital, redo the course, perfect nose. Or option B, right here, right now, 50-50 chance if it's gonna be okay, maybe it'll be a permanently crooked nose the rest of your life, but stay on the course and keep going. Well, I chose option B. I said, all right, doc, go for it. What's the procedure like? He's like, well, lay back. I'm like, okay. And this is kind of what I look like at the time, okay, in the army there. There's my nose. And it was more broken at the time, obviously. And he goes, okay. He gets his hands out, kind of like a goalkeeper of some sport. And he goes, okay. He's lining me up in his sights. And he goes, all right. Well, I'm going to take hold of it here. And so he goes on out. And he takes his hand and he kind of gets it like this, like a thumb on one side, and then all four of his other fingers on the other side, like that. And it's off to the side right now, right? And off like this. And he's like, okay. All right, well, it is good. You're going to feel some pain here. I'm like, some pain? He's like, a lot of pain. I'm like, okay. I'm psyching myself up. I'm breathing heavier now. I'm like, okay, so how's this going to go? And he's like, 
well, I'm going to count to three and then I'm going to go for it. And I'm like, oh, okay. Okay. Oh. And I'd like close my eyes, right? And I'm like, oh, okay. And I'm just like clenching, ready to, I'm just trying to, getting ready to absorb the pain. And he goes, all right. One, two. And I'm just like, ah! Oh! He jumped the gun, right? He jumped it because he knew I was expecting it on the count of three. So he just went right at two and goes, and I'm like, oh, and there's the shocking pain of just like look up through the sinuses. And I'm just kind of like, ah, oh. kind of like a brain freeze. If you ever had a slurpee or something like that, so you're just like, oh, you're just like, oh. And then I gradually open my eyes and I look up and he's there and he's, I see him like this. Look, look at my face like that, right? He's like, I think I did pretty good, he says. <laughs> so he hands me the mirror, and to this day, this is the nose. I've got still, I mean, broken at one time, but never had any issues with it since then. A slight little bit, if I have, if I have sunglasses or something like that on, I can just barely tell that one side of the sunglasses is closer to my face than the other because the nose is still a tiny, tiny bit crooked. Bit crooked. So like this side of the sunglasses are, are against my face and this side are a little bit out a bit. Um, but I think he did a pretty good job. So all things considered with one flick of the wrist, pretty good job on the, on the hands of that doctor. And uh, I continued the course and passed the course. So don't try this yourself. Uh, but in some or and usually, right, best to see, to go through the process to make sure it's done absolutely correctly. Correctly, But in this case, he gave me the option for this and it worked out that time. Luckily, I would hate to have seen what would happen if it did not work out. Hope you enjoyed this. We'll see you next time.